Slow motion is a great technique for revealing movement that's hidden at normal speeds and it's become such a popular technique it's used in so many TV and film productions. As soon as anybody's walking towards you in frame they're almost always doing so in slow motion. Now to explain what that actually means, think about video frame rates which are typically on a phone at 30 frames per second for smooth motion. Now if you wanted to slow that down by two times, you could simply play it back at say 15 frames per second, but that motion is going to look jerky as a consequence. If you want to maintain smooth motion when you slow it down, you need to grab more than 30 frames to start with. For example, if you were to film at 60 frames per second, you could play it back at 30 at half speed. Or if you were to film at 120 frames per second, you could play it back four times slower than normal and still maintain nice smooth motion. And most phones do let you film at 60p or faster these days. And they make it very easy because generally speaking, under the video tabs, you'll normally see an icon for slow motion. So now you need to find a subject that looks great when you slow it down. And it's important to experiment with different kinds of motion. I find that where I live around the seaside, birds taking flight can look fantastic. And here the seagulls are a perfect subject. You don't have to go far to find them either. Any restaurant or cafe with a little bit of food remaining on the tables or on the floor is prime hunting material. First of all, for the seagulls wanting to grab a snack and for you wanting to grab slow motion. And I've no qualms about filming these birds because they've nabbed enough of my chips and donuts in the past. So what I'm looking for ideally is a bird that's at a similar height to where I am, maybe stood on top of a table. Then I want to get myself around the same height, with roughly a few meters away from it. Then I start filming and then start edging closer and closer to the bird. Now at some point, depending on how used it is to humans, it is going to take off and fly away, generally when you're about one to two meters away from it. And at that point, try and keep the bird in the frame following it as it flies away. And that's all you're doing. There's no need to run at them or frighten them, just simply by walking calmly and slowly towards them the bird will take flight. Okay, so here's a clip that I filmed earlier and the bird is perched on a stand about a meter high and all I'm doing is walking very slowly towards it. It's important to start filming before you start moving because that bird could take off at any moment. Now the birds here in Brighton, they're very used to humans so I'm gonna have to get quite close before it takes off. You can see it getting ready and it is gonna take flight any moment now. And there it goes and I followed it as it moves out of view, it's still staying on the frame. Now it's not moved far, so I've gone for another go here and it allows you to adjust your position. At the moment I'm walking on the pebbles on the beach and it means that I'm not as stable as I'd like to be. It is better if you're on the other side because you can be a little smoother. But I'm grabbing some really nice motion. I'm very pleased with how that looks. And this was filmed only at 60p. So this is playing back at 30p. So we're looking at footage at about half speed here. And now the bird flying off into the distance. 